Hey guys, what is up? I just got done listening to the most amazing podcast, which I thoroughly recommend you check out. My brother-in-law, Matt, told me about it. It was Hugh Jackman on the Tim Ferriss podcast. And there was just one exchange that resonated so strongly with me, I wanted to share it with you and just kind of add a thought onto it. And it was about this here, which is the 85% rule. It actually comes from like sprinting, right? If you get an elite sprinter to run at 85%, you know, you say to them, hey, give me 85, don't go to 100, give me 85. They're gonna run faster than if you tell them to run at 100 because there's a kind of relaxation that kicks in. There's a kind of trying without trying, if you will and it actually optimizes performance. And it got me thinking about acting and when I've had success with getting the part, like booking the role as we call it, times where my agent has called me and said, hey, they want you, you've got the part. And, and I, was, I was thinking on, I'm like, holy crap, this 85% rule completely applies to acting and probably any kind of performance, just like it does to sprinting. So I wanted to tell you about like a couple of times that I got the part and what went into those auditions. Because I think this might help you if you're in the creative field or really, I mean, just any kind of creative endeavor that you might do. So the most recent one was, you know, I booked this national ad campaign for Columbia Sportswear. It was a job I really wanted. I had done an audition for it that went pretty good, but they want to do a callback. So that's like the, you know, the second round. I was working a full-time job at the time. I was training people in a gym and I was like, I, I just don't know how I'm gonna make this work with my time. So I had to go and do it kind of on my lunch break, move things around, completely on the other side of town. I'm racing to get there. I'm wondering how I'm gonna get back to my job. I'm wondering how I'm gonna eat lunch. I'm kind of starving and you know, I get in there, give my best shot, but I got all this other shit going on. And sure enough, I got that amazing call from my agent. Hey, you know what? You you booked your first uh, national spot in the States, which was huge. It was amazing. And I'm just kind of like, God, I don't know if I gave 100%. I certainly wasn't being effortful. I wasn't adding anything to it. I was just doing what I needed to do to kind of get in and get out. I wasn't straining. I was kind of loose. It's kind of more worried about getting back to my job at the gym than booking this gig. I really think that worked in my favor. Then I thought of another one, you know, where I, I booked this little role in a Hollywood movie, San Andreas, which was shot in Australia. When I had to audition for that, I was shooting a TV commercial at the time. I was directing it. This is the biggest TV commercial I've ever directed. I mean, to put it in perspective, it was paying me for one day what I'd been paid for a documentary that took four years for me to make, right? So that's like documentary money versus TV commercial money. This audition comes up, you should go read for it. It's the day before I'm shooting this big commercial that I just have to nail. I'm gonna have to come away from set because I'm in pre-production. I'm trying to figure out how to make all these locations work and I'm talking to, you know, 12 different people on the phone and like I just zip out and do this audition which is an amazing opportunity that I'm grateful for but I'm kind of like, oh God, I can't believe I have to do this. I booked the part. What happened there? I can't think of anything except the 85% rule. Yeah, I was tuned in in the moment, I was focused, but I wasn't reeking of desperation. <laughs> you know, it's like unconsciously, I'm like, I, I need to get back to this job that I already have that is paying me good money and they're expecting a bloody good job. I, that's my priority, I need to get back to that. I need to kind of get in and out of this audition as quick as I can. And I could feel the room light up. I was very confident. I just kind of did it, got in and got out, bang. You got the part. Now here's an example of an audition that bombed. Uh, I was in Portland, Oregon, and I got this audition uh, for a big network. And I could have done a self-tape, but I said, no, I'm gonna go in. I'm, I'm gonna fly down to LA. I'm gonna make the time. I'm gonna do this one in person. Planes delayed. You know, I'm up at 6 a.m. Planes delayed five hours. So I'm waiting at PDX airport all day. Finally get on it. Oh my God, I'm not even gonna make this audition in LA. Cause it's in Burbank. I land at LAX at like four o'clock, barely get there at like quarter to five. And uh, I just remember I'd gone through this whole ordeal and I was overly focused. I was just drilling my lines over and over and over again. I'm pulling up in an Uber and I'm listening to Eminem, Lose Yourself. I'm thinking, yeah, this is it. This is my opportunity. I gotta, I gotta seize this moment. This is make or break. This is like life or death. I gotta get this role. This is gonna change my career. You know, and I went in there and I don't think I lit up the room. I was trying to give 100% and I should have just been trying to give 
I didn't get the part, needless to say. I just know I wasn't at my best. I was tense. I didn't have that looseness that I had those other times. So I'm just sharing this because I think it's super helpful. I hope this resonates with some of you. This notion of 85% rule, man, it just like triggered something for me. I was like, this, this is the truth. This, this is legit. So I want to share that with you guys. What do you think? Do you think this is true? Are there examples of times where you have seemingly not been giving your full effort, but actually you were giving your optimum effort? because you're a little bit more relaxed. I would love to hear them. And I'd love to hear about other fields than acting. Maybe it's sport, maybe it's some other creative field, science, medicine. I don't know, I'm genuinely curious if this applies to everyone. So leave a comment below. Obviously, if you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. And uh, guys, I will be, I'll be seeing you real soon. Take it easy.